Yo, welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. Listen, don't ask me why I look like this. Don't look at me today. Close your eyes. But listen, I wanted to go ahead and talk about The View. The View is spicy and y'all have to read between the lines. Now, you guys are going to call me messy. You guys are going to say that we're reading too much into the situation. But why do I feel like there's a low key beef brewing? Maybe not a beef. But there is a low-key tension brewing between the ladies, mainly Sonny Hostin and Sarah Haynes, mainly Sarah Haynes toward Sonny Hostin. Now, you guys do know that Sarah Haynes, nice white woman onto the panel, right? Super sweet. I love Sarah Haynes, especially when she quit The View or got fired to go on to do Straight Hand, Sarah, and Kiki. Well, it was Straight Hand and Sarah, and then Kiki guest starred on it and ended up getting a job, right? And then the pandemic hit, and then, uh, you know, they got rid of the show. They canceled it. So listen, um, love Sarah down, the moderate at the table, but I feel like there's some low-key pressure from her towards Sonny Hostin, and I'll give you an example, right? So, Remember two weeks ago, and this was the last time we talked about The View on this channel, but two weeks ago, there was a situation between Sonny Hostin, the liberal, who's a pro-lifer, a pro-life liberal, wrap your head around that, okay? Not too crazy. Kind of accused Alyssa Fair Griffin, the Republican who used to work for Trump in his trumpets. They got into a scuffle because Sonny Hostin accused Alyssa Fair Griffin of being incapable of defending her former boss, Mr. Mike Pence. OK, and things got personal. So let me go ahead and show you guys this. I mean, you, actually, you defended Cornell West speaking. yesterday, I'm who would destroy our country. He also um, was a parrot for Trump. Don't he make this personal. Let's hear. He yeah, spearheaded the Trump. Sonny likes to make it personal spear, with me, so we'll just. He's, well, like, are you going to give me a chance to answer? Speaking the truth. Spearheading troop, uh, Trump's yeah, COVID I mean, this is an absurd. agenda <laughs> of downplaying the virus. Well, this is not what the show is about. This is Barbara Walters' legacy. Let a woman speak. It's everybody's view. No, it's everybody's view. This is not what the show is about. This is Barbara Walters' legacy. Let a woman speak. Boo. My name is Elizabeth Griffin and I'm a victim. Listen, mind you to add in more context, just 40 seconds before Sunny started her diatribe, uh, Miss Elizabeth Griffin had 60 seconds of her own to speak about whatever she wanted to speak about, child. Okay? So you are not victim of the year candy in this a uh, particular case, Miss Alyssa Fair Griffin, and y'all can say uh, that Sonny Hostin is rude as hell. Uh, listen, okay, you can rebut to her rudeness when she puts a period on her sentence. Uh, hold on. Now, listen, with that being said, y'all, the key takeaway was the fact that, you know, uh, Joy, the voice of reason, no, Joy decided to step in and she was like, well, don't make it personal, you guys. Just listen to her. I think that was directed toward Alyssa. And then Alyssa rebutted and basically said, well, it's Sonny who likes to make things personal with me. Sonny likes to make it personal. Okay. So literally yesterday, you guys, fast forward to yesterday. Um, I keep having a burp. My bad. Fast forward to yesterday. I just got done eating lunch. Fast forward to yesterday or dinner. We get this situation where they're talking about Geraldo Rivera on The Five and how he's departing The Five. Now, The Five is... A show on Fox News It's a panel political show on Fox News is basically the inverse of The View where they have five or four, excuse me, right wingers. And then you have a one liberal voice. All right. So it's literally the same formula as The View. And Gerardo Rivera basically announced his departure. And on The View, they're having a discussion about it. And they're basically citing that uh, things got too personal on to the set. And so Sonny decides to chime in and basically says that when you're having conversations on TV about your political view, the number one rule is to, Sonny said the number one rule is to not take things personal, okay? I butchered that in the original filming. She said, Sonny said the number one rule to talking politics on TV is to not take things personal, okay? Do not receive things personal in a personal way. And then we get Sarah Haynes chiming in 
And she basically said, well, it's not so much about taking things personal, right? Because Sonny was like, you can't take things personal. Sarah says, it's not about people taking it personal, but it's about other folks making it personal. All right, so let me just go ahead and play the clip because I totally butchered that. Uh, here we go. That's what was sort of uh, terrible about this whole thing. He said it, be it started to become too personal. And rule number one, when you're sitting with a group of people from totally different backgrounds that you don't agree with much on is never to take it personally. So it was pretty it's the striking. Sometimes person pushing back that's making it personal. So it's not you take it personally, your take. Sometimes people make it personal because it's an ad hominem. They attack the person making the argument because they don't have a better counter argument. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, say what now? Come again. Come again, darling. How Kiki Palmer say Sarah Haynes' best friend. Uh, say what now? Who? What? When? Where? How? Hmm. Now that sounded pretty personal. I felt like we're not talking about Geraldo Rivera anymore. We're not talking about Greg Gutfeld anymore. We're not talking about the folks over there at the five. We're not talking about those four Looney Tunes who call themselves talking about political topics. I don't feel like we're talking about that anymore. Why do I feel like this conversation is a direct parallel from two weeks ago? Hold on, let me go ahead and play this again. Trump. Sonny likes to make it personal with me, so we'll just... He's, well, are you going to give me a chance to answer? Speaking the or? truth. Spearheading troop, uh, Trump's... Alyssa accuses uh, Sonny of making things personal, and then two weeks later, Sarah says this. So it's not you take it personally, your take. Sometimes people make it personal because it's an ad hominem. They attack the person making the argument because they don't have a better counter argument. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's not about Sonny. That's not about Sonny, though. And when I recall two weeks ago when uh, Alyssa Fair Griffin and Sonny Hostin had their little scuffle, it seemed to me like Sarah Haynes was a low key, very, very, very low key because Sarah, all she does is do anything. She don't do nothing if it's not low key. It be seeming like she be low key on Alyssa's side versus uh, Sonny Hostin. So listen, why do I feel like there's low key pressure? Why do I feel like there's low key tension? Why do I feel like Sarah Haynes was a low key calling Sonny Hostin out and she used Geraldo Rivera and the situation over there at the five to call her out. Very, 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 very crafty, uh, Miss Sarah Haynes. Now, Sarah, I love you, sis, but sis, we're gonna call you out. Girl, why is you subbing the girls? Why are you low key subbing the girls, Sarah? Now, listen, again, you guys may think that I'm reading too much into the situation, but over here at the House of Aaron, we are extremely messy and we get into the drama and we get into the nooks and the crannies of the situation. And I watch every single Hot Topics segment and I put these, you know, dots. I connect the dots and I connected these dots, right? How yesterday's discussion is a direct parallel to the dis to the discussion, excuse me, from two weeks ago. And it's giving Sarah Haynes has a low-key pressure for Miss Sonny Hostin, accusing her of making things personal over there at the view table. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.